Displaced Mexicans, scared and desperate for help. Many have walked days to get to the town of Cosala from their villages deep in the Sierra Madre mountain range, carrying their children with them. We walked for three days, day and night. By the second day, I had no shoes. Sometimes there wasn't a drop of water to drink. They're fleeing the Mexican Navy, whose helicopters fired on several communities before ground troops stormed through. They were hunting this man, Joaquin Guzman, known as El Chapo, the world's most wanted drug lord. The Navy missed him, but not the houses of Marbella and others. As she looks at our video of her bullet-riddled home. That's where the first bullet hit as I crossed the patio. She remembers running to try and protect her two-year-old daughter. I cried and screamed and begged them not to harm us. I told them we weren't bad people. We wanted them to talk to us like the government did before, but the only thing they did was shoot at us without caring about who was there or who they killed. When we visited Marbella's village, El Verano, the day before, we found only animals. All their owners had fled. This small village really is in the middle of nowhere, so you can imagine the surprise of someone living here to suddenly see Navy helicopters in the sky and then have their house peppered with fire from those helicopters before infantry swooped in here. Those armed forces are long gone, but the people living here are still too scared to come back. It's just the latest of many incidents in which the military have trampled the rights of civilians while battling organized crime, say human rights organizations. Military forces are made to kill, not to detain people or take them before authorities. And that means that there are frequent human rights complaints against them. Many support or at least fear El Chapo in the mountains where he was born and raised. That may explain the Navy's aggressive approach as it entered these people's communities and homes, but it's won them few new friends. John Holman, El Verano, Mexico.